Hi everyone. Well, you know what? It is Vlogmas. Wow, it's number 11. And it just kind of felt different today. It just kind of felt like I didn't need a Christmas funny tiara. I needed a crown. It just kind of felt different. It felt like a moosey kind of day. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for Vlogmas number 11. And you know, I just wanted to do something different today. It's not only Vlogmas 11, it is Monday and it's time for a hashtag plan with me Monday 23. So I'm excited to be showing you my planners in a few minutes. I just kind of had to dress up as something. And when I would put this dress on, I was trying to figure out, well, I knew I wanted to use my fancy dancy moose mug and then I said well you know I haven't brought my moose mug I've got two moose nutcrackers downstairs but I could only find one so I brought my moose up here and then I was trying to figure out what wig I wanted to wear and I found this dress and I said oh yeah okay so then I was trying to figure out what wig and I said settled on this Peggy Bundy wig and then I tried on different um little fascinators and I said you know what I'm thinking of a remake of Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo and instead of Christy Brinkley he's trying to match up with Peg Bundy. Thus I picked this wig and I thought you know what just let's go with it. Have a little fun so let's show you what I'm, I'm wearing. So I've got this my little tiara here. I honestly don't remember if I got this at Timu or if I got it at Amazon. It was probably Amazon but I'm not sure. My Peggy Bundy wig that's from Timu. These earrings, and of course, I went with these instead of Christmas ones. These are from Timu, same as the necklace. I got my ring scot. I've got my, that's my Heidi Dell string that I love, and that's one of my Timu rings. And this dress, I think it was from Walmart. All right, so it's got this mousse on it, and we've got, it's kind of long. We've got these sleeves with some snowflakes on it. It's just a kind of polyester stretchy material. On the bottom, we've got like this big ruffle. No, no, no worries, I have got leggings on underneath, but we've got this big ruffle here with all these little snowflakes, and maybe these are supposed to be like poinsettias, poinsettias. So anyway, I just thought I would do, do for a different look. I'm the moose queen today, Peggy Bundy style. Alrighty, so let's get into the things before we get into our planner. The coffee that I picked, I picked this one a while ago, a few days ago absolutely love this one this is my favorite so far and this is caramel eggnog now for me i did not taste anything focus please that tasted like eggnog but it was a really nice caramel flavored coffee loved it i've got for my just janet my nutcracker advent calendar so we've got another red one i think i've had three reds in a row so it's a nice chunky bit of milk chocolate it just melts in your mouth it is magnificent i love it for the walker my shortbread we've got one of these long wafers again and these are just really really nice a nice shortbread cookie just fancy little cookies go so great with my coffee in the morning my glossy box number 11 and in this we had this shampoo Let's see if we can get it up there to focus so it's rain cry color enhancing shampoo so who knows maybe there's a matching conditioner in there in the next few days for the wine from my sip and savor wine oven calendar we have got a cabernet sauvignon and I'm pretty sure I had one of these recently, a couple of days ago. It was a red blend with Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. 
I think that one was my absolute favorite so far, but I do love a good Cabernet Sauvignon. I thought I opened this. I thought I pre-opened this. Let me uh, get my handy dandy thing. I'll be right back. And apparently I did not open it because even with this little thingamajiggy, it was hard to open. But anyway, we have got our fancy dancy moose mug from National Lampoons. Is it Marty Moose? Marty Moose. There was such a fun movie with John Candy and Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo. So we had to at least fill his nose. Nobody wants to drink from a moose with an empty nose. If you're going to drink from a moose, you want him to have a full nose. Alrighty. So anyway, cheers everyone. Happy Monday. Here's to a fabulous week. Issue free work week. Fun times. Great holiday season. So much fun. Cheers. Mm. So, so good. You know, I might even have... <coughs> I might even have to have my little shortbread cookie. So, anyway... We're going to turn the camera around. We're going to quick do our planners, our wellness journal, and my main planner. And again, it's an open collab. It's free to anyone to uh, join anytime that you want. Um, and again, use that hashtag, uh, Plan With Me Monday 23. Thank our lovely hostess, Lene from Fashionably 50 Something and Beyond. And it can be any type of planner that you have, whether you're doing meal planning or scheduling out doctor appointments or work appointments or your children's activities or maybe your husband or you travel a lot for your work so you want to make sure everyone has airlines and everything, all the information in one place, whether you do it in a planner, you do it on a notepad, you do it on a chalkboard, you do it on your computer, just anything that works for you. We would love to see what you do and how you organize your life a little bit. So anyway, we're just going to kind of turn the camera around, get into it. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And again, this was Vlogmas number 11. Alrighty, and for my wellness journal, this is a happy planner. And we've got this for the week of Monday, November 27th, going through Sunday, December 3rd. For my work week, I had worked 61 hours. On my under desk elliptical, I had pedaled for 20,188 steps. That was 4.8 hours, um, and the miles that I did was 8.05. On my Fitbit for the week, I only got in 18,818 steps. Alrighty, so this one is my main planner, and again, it's a happy planner. It is the big, big planner in the horizontal layout. And again, the weeks are Monday, November 27th, and goes through Sunday, December 3rd. And because it is the last week in November, I do have my last fall kit of the year. And then next uh, month for December, I hope to have enough Christmas kits, themed kits, to do the whole month in Christmas themes. On to Monday. So starting the week, worked another 12-hour day. I had uploaded the hashtag plan with me Monday 23. I had edited the Timu number 35 and I got some happy mail. I got some stickers and my Christmas cards came in. So I'm excited to see those come in so I could start getting them out. I had worked on YouTube for about five hours. On to Tuesday, another 12 hour work day. I had uploaded Timu number 35. I changed my backdrop to a Christmas backdrop so I'd be ready to start Vlogmas. I got some happy mail. I've got a really cute wine glass, so I'm excited to be sharing that. I'll tell you all about that when I get to uh, show it to you, hopefully next week. On to Wednesday. So I had worked 12 and a half hours. I put my sticker kits down for the uh, following weeks in both planners. I just figured that would be less to do when I just kind of had the stickers ready. I got my trash out. I know, how exciting. I worked on YouTube for about five hours. And there's a picture of Tory Pie, one half of the jelly beans there. And it's Thanksgiving Day and... Um, Sabrina and the Jelly Beans went over to Auntie Raina's house, and there's Tori Pie just chilling on the couch. 
on to Thursday. So I had a work for 12 hours. I had uploaded the hashtag color and create with us, you rock art. I got a Timu delivery in, yay. So I don't have too many more Timu deliveries, but I do have a lot of Timu to still show you guys. I worked on YouTube for about three hours and I videoed Vlogmas day one. On to December 1st. Happy Vlogmas, everyone. I had worked 12 and a half hours. I uploaded Vlogmas number one. I worked on YouTube for about 10 hours. I worked a little bit on the tree, put some more decorations on it. Uh, one of my boss's wives came over. She picked up the paperwork so I wouldn't have to ship it out. And I had a Target food delivery. On to Saturday. So I had videoed Vlogmas number two, got that uploaded. I worked on YouTube for about 10 hours. I made spaghetti, and no, I'm not caught up yet. I made spaghetti and meatballs. And so I had brought up some more Christmas sweaters, and I started the color, color page so I would be able to have that ready for next week. On to Sunday. So I had uh, videoed and uploaded vlogmas day three and i printed pictures for my thumbnails for the week before so that i could get them ready to put in my planner i filmed five videos and uh, my computer died so those videos are stuck in my computer so i've got to do them all over again but you know what it is what it is it's worst things that could have happened and the picture that i have here at the bottom it's just one of Rick dressed up as Santa one year and the girls, Raina and Sabrina. And if you can see in the middle, he was not in the picture to start with, but he had to wedge his way in. And that is Sir Stetson right there. No matter what we were doing, Sir Stetson had to be the one closest to Rick. There was one time and it was probably, oh my gosh, um, maybe mid eighties. Uh, and we had, uh, Silverado truck that just had the bench front seat. It was before they all kind of switched to buckets. And so Rick and I were going to go out and Stetson, of course, had to come with us because he always did. And so he jumped up into the passenger seat and he would not push over to let me in. So out of frustration, I just went around to the driver's side. I got in the driver's side, put myself in the middle, and it was a fight from there on because he wanted to sit next to Rick, and I wasn't letting him because he was being so pugnacious, not letting me in. So no matter what we did, he had to be right next to his daddy. But anyway, it's uh, just posing for some Christmas pictures, and so Christmas for me has always meant family, friends, traditions, sharing memories of Christmas past, enjoying the present, and hope for the future. I love looking at the decorations while putting up the tree and setting up the nutcrackers. And I just try to remember where we were when we bought that one, what we were doing, were we on vacation, things like that. And it just, it's just about remembering and just cherishing the memories that you've made. I love listening to Christmas music throughout the season, watching the Christmas movies. I love looking at Christmas lights. Um, sharing Christmas and holiday foods. So seasons, greetings everyone. I hope you have an amazing and amazing holiday season. And I just wanted to remind everyone that this is a open collab. It is open to everyone. And again, our hostess is the lovely Lene. And the hashtag is Plan With Me Monday 23, where everyone is just welcome to upload whatever planners that you have, whether you do an extensive planner or if you do something online, maybe you just keep it on an Excel spreadsheet or a notebook and you just handwrite things in. No matter what your planner is, we just love sharing ideas and, and how people use their planners to hide, maybe kind of help organize our lives a little bit better. And I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in our next video.